What's up, guys? Hey. Where the hay bears? You guys having a good morning? I'm knocking out some chickens this morning. I like it. Here's the puppies. Here's the fur babies. Ready to go? I'll take these dogs for a walk, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, get their cardio in for the morning. I like it. What are the... Well, let's get some introductions going here. This is, uh, we know who this guy is. We're not going to introduce this guy. Yeah, I'm not important. No, we're not important than this. Who's this lovely lady? I'm the wife. Jordy. She, she's basically the, the anchor of all this. <laughs> she, she's the anchor of all that is good. So this is Geraldine and we've got... Ronan, this one here, and the one in pink is Nova. Ronan and Nova, all right. I love it. Let's go for a walk. Let's do this. Hurricane yeah, they say the hurricane's coming, but hopefully it misses us. It's gonna hit New Orleans, so we'll see how we go. It should. I mean, it changes like every hour, so mm -hmm. who knows? I yeah. really don't think the weather people really know what they're doing. <laughs> they never do. Man, what a morning. That's beautiful. We're gonna get the Australian flag up on the house too. <laughs> yeah, no space. Have a, three, a three flag. Pole. Yeah, we'll work something out. Hey, pump. <laughs> So what's been going on guys? Anything exciting? Well, I mean, we're just kind of adjusting back to more normal life right now. Um, we just spent two weeks over in Gulf for the drill with the military. So. Yeah. How was that? Is that? And that's why you got the uh, baby face going? Yeah, yeah. So I've, I've got my cheeks back for the most part now. I'm, we, not, I'm not dying, dieting. We, so. saw, we saw the American bully with the, with the beard and with the goatee for the last couple of shows, so... Now we now we got the baby face back. I do miss the goatee. I think that was the best look. What did you What did you like? Goatee at most. I'm not a fan of when he's got a whole. The full beard, beard. The beard looked pretty pretty cool though. Let's be honest. Beard looked cool. Close shave and maybe but no scruff. Yeah. No scruff. Okay. I think it was all right whenever it was really cleaned up. Like really fresh. Yeah. But whenever it's like real scraggly, it's definitely definitely not good. <laughs> has to be that's a problem you have to keep it trimmed at all time that's funny so we had a, a we had a question not a question just a comment on our one of our youtube videos and they said hey we need to get the pronunciation of your last name down yes. so for everyone once and for all how do you pronounce your last name so look at it this way it's like the letter a and the word bear like like a bear in the woods so it's a bear Okay. And no one can get that right. They always want to put in an extra R and call it Herbert. <laughs> and I know it's I know it looks weird. It's spelled Hebert, but it's a Cajun name, so it's pronounced Hebert. Alright, so once and for all, it's Jason A. Bear. Okay, good to know. When uh, when you did your show and I and we're doing your uh, your routine, my son comes out every now and again because he's seen it so many times and he goes, from Mobile, Alabama. <laughs> Jason A. Like, He's seven. He loves it. Does he say it right? He does, yeah, because oh, he's yeah. heard it so many times on the video, and they got it right. Yeah, they got it right. So, Bale and my seven-year-old loves it, and he uh, he loves watching it. They, they, my kids love watching your routines, so um, okay. they, they love watching you posing. Well, you get... so she was a big influence on that because, like, I mean, I, I can come up with some decent ideas, but she kind of puts everything together and makes everything flow. I, I need to save the turtle. Okay. We've got a turtle coming up. Where about, uh, what do you what do you mean you're gonna save the turtle? Hey, move them off the road. Okay, we, get there you go. So this is uh, this is Alabama people. We just have uh, turtles just hanging out this time of year. <laughs> He's gonna walk straight back on the road now. <laughs> That's funny. Roman, so on. we saw one of the last videos. You're in, uh, you're up in Dallas at uh, Destination. Yes. Um, and you said how awesome that was, and you did, uh, you did legs with Austin Carr. That was a wicked video. Yeah, it was um, really good. And honestly, we were surprised how good the the workout really was, just because we were both just so depleted. Yeah. Uh, especially him, because he was coming from the Tampa Pro, and he wasn't as lean as he should have been in that show. But so he basically had to kill himself to, to be in shape. So he went from like. 16th place at Tampa to second in Dallas. Wow. So, yeah, he uh, dramatic transformation. He got with uh, with AJ, uh, Cement Factory, 
And uh, that's my coach. I've, I've been with him since 2017. And uh, basically just kind of flipped the switch and just transformed his physique in a week. It was really cool. That's awesome. So you've um, you've been in Mobile for a while now. Geraldine's just got to finish her fire training. Mm -hmm. Geraldine's a firefighter with, with the Mobile Fire Rescue. And the comment was in Dallas, hey, I wouldn't mind moving to Dallas one day. I'd love <laughs> yeah. to live in Dallas. We need to clear this up quickly, I think. It's yeah. not happening. <laughs> <laughs> so that was in the, the leg day video that we did with Gasp. And uh, I did mention towards the end of the video, I was like, you know, I, I wouldn't mind moving here. But uh, that was actually before we discussed it. So. <laughs> and, and I did notate that in the video, too. Yes. I didn't just, just say that, hey, we're moving here. But... I told, I told him we're going to have to. But as you said, in that kind of situation, in that um, atmosphere, like destination is just awesome. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's just, uh, I mean, everyone in there works hard. So you don't have anybody just kind of like sitting around like on their phones or, you know, just like messing around. They're, they're actually there to train and work hard. Yeah. And so the atmosphere is just, I mean, it's super contagious too. Like you just, when you walk into that place, like you want to work. Yeah. It's just really cool. That's sweet. Nice. We're, talk we're talking about before about that um you mentioned uh, las vegas too because las vegas is having so many gyms pop up you, know, you talk about destination destination dallas what have you heard about the gyms in uh, vegas popping up the new all the new ones well you got the dragon's lair that flex just moved over there and um now i trained at the lift factory whenever i competed at usa's in 2017 and so that was that was a pretty cool gym it's a little small but it's kind of like the same thing with uh, with destination, just on a smaller scale. The atmosphere is just really awesome. But uh, and then you got the one you that got, uh, you, got, yeah, you got you got your powerhouse on, which has moved there now. Yeah, yeah. So I wouldn't mind training there. I haven't trained there over there yet. That's just open with Hito and uh, Iris. So and then because Jay Cutler, you know, he goes to Fit Club and all that kind of places. Yeah. So that'd be pretty sweet. Because they've moved Olympia from there, right? Yeah, they moved again. Too. Well, That's it's. Staying in Orlando now? I believe so. I mean, I think honestly, I think it belongs in Vegas. I just think that that's that's where it should be. But you know, temporarily until they figure out what's going on with this whole nonsense happening. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, they're just going to keep it in Orlando for now. Hey, which is good for us. It's a bit closer for us. Oh yeah. In, in yeah. Alabama. And that's uh, one of the main reasons why I'm able to go. Yeah, so you're going to be at the Olympia Expo, right? I'll be at the Olympia. Do you know what day? I uh, plan on leaving. So I'm going to drive there, so yeah. I plan on leaving early Friday morning, and I'll be there for the finals for 212 mm -hmm. and the final, I mean, the uh, pre judging for the open. And then I'll probably head back Sunday, Sunday morning. So if you want to come and see Jason A. Bear, uh, you'll be at the Gasp. The Gasp. Uh, uh, so booth? I don't think they're going to have like. Like an actual booth. Okay. But everyone from Gas will be there. Yep. And so I mean, I'll I'll be there. If you happen to see me, don't be afraid to you know come up to me and say hi or anything like that. Yeah. So don't be shy. He's, he's a big teddy bear, so <laughs> he he will not growl at you and uh, and throw you away. So come and say hi and get a picture and an autograph for sure. Is uh, Jez, you gonna be there? I'm gonna be playing wee woos on the fire trucks. Oh, okay. She has to be. She has to be on the red, big red fire truck. Okay. Yeah, she'll be on shift. Okay, that's all right. So, well, that, that that'll be awesome to be there. So, that's sweet. And Jez, what are you, are you uh, doing? Any shows or anything at the moment? Tell us about yourself quickly. Uh, yes, and but now it's like eight and ten weeks out. I think. Yeah, eight and ten weeks. Um, what show are you doing? I'm going to be doing the first one's the Beach Bash down in Orange Beach, just cool. a small NPC show. I'm going to do the wellness division. Do you um, have, you have any good coaches for that? We said initially <laughs> that we would never mix relationship and coaching, yep. but I guess that was just going to go out the window. It's, it's survived so far, but... Yeah, it's actually working really well so far. So for people who don't know, Jason's actually a, uh, a fitness coach as well. He's got his own uh, little company going. What's that? Tell us about that. Let's do a shameless plug for your, <laughs> for your, for your coaching. Yeah, so um, I do most of it on online. It's uh, the JH Training Systems. So they can find your JH Training Systems? Yeah, that's, that's the email that I associate it with. So uh, if, you, if you want to do any kind of contest prep, you know, lifestyle, um, progression season, anything like that, it's uh, jhtrainingsystems at gmail.com. There you go. And so you do a, a dietary, meal planning. 
stuff like that? Yeah, so there's there's a lot that's involved with it. Uh, I it's all all nutrition plans. Uh, it's all custom. Um, I don't do like like a full on training program, but uh, training split will be suggested, and it's it's basically tailored to what you need to improve on the most. And uh, there's a bunch of other things in there too. So like if you if you are interested, just kind of send me an email, mm-hmm. and I'll send you all the information on it. There you go. Get get trained by the American bully. Test, you know, prep and everything. That'd be awesome. Is that like the bully squad. The bully squad. Yeah. Wow. So that's the actual team name for all okay. the competitors. That sounds awesome. I like that. And we're working on a, a logo so far. And I think we figured it out, but we just kind of have to like finalize it and everything. So copyright it and all that kind of good stuff. You know. Well, no, but. <laughs> So what's um now? You said in one of your videos the other day you're gonna get, you're not you don't want to be the little guy anymore. We're gonna yeah, so you're in the two twelve division, right? And what'd you weigh in at your last show? Uh, the last show I was one ninety four point five, and uh, right about one ninety five on stage. Mm-hmm. So I've got pretty close to twenty pounds to top out the class. I got plenty of room to grow, and I don't. I just feel like if I'm gonna be really competitive in the class that I, I obviously need to grow a pretty good bit. Yep. Um, you know, placing fourth in the show, I mean, I've, I've, I've had two shows where I've placed uh, fourth, and so it's not like, it's not terrible, but I think, it, I mean, you know, we're obviously competing to win, so I just need to, I just need to grow and fill out the class. Where do you need to think you need to improve? It's mainly, I would say, like my, my back thickness. And it, honestly, it's just going to take time with that. Yeah. You know, every year it's improved, but it's just a time thing for me, really. Because you changed up your routine a little bit in the way you posed your back right in the last show. Yeah, with the, la- the rear lat spread. We changed it pretty dramatically. And Thanks to AJ with that one. Yeah, AJ, AJ just, he was like, hey, why don't you try this and just kind of see what it looks like. I, I don't know if it'll look good. And we tried it and it was like, bam. Yeah. It looked, it looked awesome. And that used to be my my least favorite pose because it was my worst one. And it's actually one of my stronger ones now, so it's really, really cool. Mm-hmm. So so that's the plan for now. So the plan for the, till the next show is to just get big, huh? Yeah, basically. Just uh, just grow as much as possible. Obviously, that's the goal for really any competitor is to put on as much muscle tissue as possible. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, it's just um, it's time to go in and and not be the little guy basically just kind of i don't know just grow as much as you can and just kind of see where it goes from there i'll say everyone everyone's got to keep up with us because we're going to be videoing a heap of workouts check out on the instagram it's uh a at jh underscore the american bully and nearly every day you put a content up there right yeah usually usually daily i put up some content whether it be uh, like progress pictures uh, training videos what's that <laughs> yeah, like skateboards or anything so, like so little that. kids come past could get in trouble. Roll the plates. <laughs> Roll the plates. That's funny. But yeah, so just keep up to date. Keep up to date on the uh, Instagram, on the YouTube. What's the YouTube channel called? Uh, the YouTube channel is All American Muscle. Um, if you can't find it with that, just search my name. And uh, it should be there. Look for the big guy. Big guys. But plan on. Uh, one every week and uh, we'll do something like this pretty regularly if it's not this it'll be training or um, maybe even a QA and a or something like that we'll see yeah let us know what you want i mean if you want to see uh vlogs stay in the lives um more posing more uh training with clients if you want to see jason uh, jason train geraldine one day that'd be pretty cool that's kind of funny yeah uh, <laughs> she's actually uh, the one that's putting me through my, right. my last leg days Geraldine trains the bully. I like it. I like it. You can't say anything bad about it or else uh, it's a bad no, yeah. car- <laughs> no carrot cake. Yeah. <laughs> well, those are those are far in between anyway. But right now, 
Thanks you for you know you're ready. Okay. Geraldine's apparently very good at baking. The guys at the station are very happy to have her at uh, engine 26 on third shift, that's for sure. Well, that's the thing. Like, I told her she can do all the baking she wants, as long as it's over there, <laughs> and I don't have to see it. <laughs> and the problem is, I go over there to visit her, and it's sitting right there on the table, so I'm like, yeah. So um, we mentioned at the start you're um, you're off on military for two weeks. Tell us a bit about your military. Yeah, so uh, literally as soon as my last show was over, the very well, so I came back home Sunday. Uh, what was it about like six, six, six seven o'clock, something like that? Mm -hmm. The very next day, I had military duty from seven in the morning until four o'clock. So <laughs> I had to drive over to Gulfport, which is not really that far. It's about an hour and twenty minutes from around there, and. Uh, out there for the past two weeks and the only issue with that is my, my training clients kind of suffered from that because I wasn't able to, to be there to give them the training they needed and um, but I took care of all that that's over and done with so so what branch are you in are you, all right gonna explain. We'll, 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 this? we'll explain this so currently I'm in the Air National Guard but I did four years active Marine Corps before that and uh, I took a year off and basically my dad just kind of convinced me to go back in and I had pretty much made up in my mind that I would never do like another branch especially in the guard or reserves or anything like that just because it was a pride thing you know coming from active duty marines <laughs> so he convinced me that was the way to go and honestly I'm glad I did it's uh, the way of life is a lot better now I'm glad that I did active marine corps first and then went over to this side but um yeah, I definitely don't regret it, and I plan on staying as long as I can. Well, hey, thank you for your service. That's awesome. You too, Jez. Thank you for your service. <laughs> Saving lives on a daily basis out in the wild, wild west of Mobile, right? Mobile, as west as west can get, Mobile. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Why not? But that's awesome. Um, any other, like, uh, exciting things coming up in the Abair household? Other than uh, the Olympia coming up, I can't really think of anything. All right, let's talk Olympia for a sec. Who you got? Who's going to win right now? Who is the favorite to go for Olympia? Well, I mean, obviously the reigning champ is, you know, Big Rami. So, Big Rami, okay. I mean, he's the guy to beat. To beat. Mm -hmm. um, there's going to be a lot of really good guys there, especially with the new the new guys coming up. I mean, you've got, you know, Ian, Hunter, and then, of course, you've got, like, the, the OGs. You know, you've got William Bonac. Um, so it's just like, and, and then Hottie. Hottie is incredible. Uh I know Flex isn't doing it this year, but whenever he comes back, I mean, who knows? It's really hard to say. If um, if Rami is off, he could get beat. If anybody else is on, I mean, it's it's really anybody's title to really that. An it'll be it'll be really cool. Good. Hey, stay tuned. It's going to be cool to watch for sure. I say we'll, we'll be there checking it all out. It's going to be awesome. I saw uh, I think it was on YouTube this morning that Jay Cutler is actually going to compete in a show. Uh, is it the uh, Iron Man show? Jay Cutler? Jay Cutler. Was, I haven't watched the video, but it said Jay Cutler, he's, he's coming back for some so Iron Man he, show. I, I highly doubt it. He's, he's long retired. Mm -hmm. and, um, he likes to kind of do that for clickbait, and it works. And it works, there you go. <laughs> uh, I, think, I think maybe he'll actually be at the show, but he's not going to be competing. There you go. Now, I could be completely wrong, but... Jay, if you want to prove... <laughs> the American bully wrong that you still got it. I mean, get, let's do this. Come on. You big fishing minnow. Right, I know. So. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But as far as the uh, the 212 division, that that one's going to be interesting too because I mean, you've got a, a lot of even the guys that I competed with, um, especially in Tampa and then, you know, even in Chicago and Dallas. I mean, there's a lot of front runners in, in that class too. Um and then Derek Lunsford, he's got a new coach. Uh, Sean Clarita is obviously the, the champ. Yeah. I mean, he's going to be really hard to beat. So, both divisions, it's going to be really, really exciting, Olympia. And I'm, I'm so glad that I'm going to be able to be there. Car. Car, game off. <laughs> so, we're, we've seen your training. We've videotaped some of your training stuff. We've watched you pick things up, put them down. What's your cardio? Is this your cardio, taking the dogs for a walk? Basically, yeah. For right now, um, you know, obviously later on into the off season, 
if, uh, if things start get, getting a little bit softer than what we want, then we'll probably add a little bit more cardio into it. Um, I, I don't think we'll cut away from the food just because we want to keep food as high as possible. But um, maybe just increase activity level a little bit. But, I mean, we're long away from, from that right now. That's so. you. Me, on the other hand, I'm yeah. <laughs> going to be doing a lot more than just this. Going <laughs> that stair stepper, huh? Awesome. Not too much for me. No, not, she, not the movement. We actually, uh, there's a, a Strider machine, right? Is that what yeah, it's called? It's yeah. Better. Kind of like a sort of like an elliptical type thing. Right. But um, it's just better. And uh, where are you I doing all your where are you doing all your working out, Jez? Where do you work out at? Mainly Club Four at the moment. Club Four just, Fitness. It's okay. It's just convenient. Uh, work days, I just do cardio because it can get really quite physical on work days. Yeah. Um, and then I'll do my regular training on my off days. Depends on what the coach says, huh? Listen, coach. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the boss. We know that's not true. Only when it comes to prep. Everything else. You know what you, <laughs> you you know your body, you know what you're doing. Well that's a that was a big deciding factor with deciding to go with this one, I guess, this time around. Because I've had I've I've had a multitude of coaches before and never quite got what my body does right. Yeah. I grow really quite easily, but then when it comes to getting really, really lean, that's where I tend to struggle. When was your last show? Last year, two below. Okay. So about this time last year. Okay. Um, and we're hoping, well, with how things went, uh, to come in at a, with a better package. The difference being is that throughout fire school, training took a bit of, went on a bit of a back burner. Mm -hmm. It became a bit more about the academic side and learning how to do the job. So yeah. Full ball back into training now. And I'll do my job at the same time. Sweet.